For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use Supervisor to set the next code file. What does that mean? That means at startup, we can have a code.py running that is waiting for us to tell it a different program to run. So we can have multiple py files. They don't have to be named code.py. In fact, they can't be. They can be named pretty much anything you want. And at a press of a button, we can say, okay, let's go ahead and launch program A or program B. So what you can see on the screen here, the screen REPL is printing out for me. It says press A or B to run plantwaterer.py or code2.py. So if I press this A button, it will automatically reset the board and now it's running a different pi file instead of code.py. It's running this clue project for the plant waterer. If I reset the board, it will go back to that original code.py file that is waiting for me to decide, hey, what do you want to run? So I'll go ahead and press the B button and this time it's running a separate program. This one's called code2.py and it's just printing out some text and the time in time monotonic. The way this works is we're importing supervisor and then I'm also importing board and keypad so that I can use the buttons here. I'm setting up the keypads. And then in the main loop, if I press a button, you can see here it says, if that button is the first button, button A, supervisor set next code file and then the name of the .py file I wanna run. If the other button gets pressed, then same sort of thing. Supervisor set next code file, code2.py then it will wait for me to release that button, lift off the button, and then it runs this supervisor reload. So the supervisor reload is different than pressing reset or power cycling. It has this notion of, oh, I've been told a different code file to run, and it will run with that until we either reset the board or power cycle it. So this is a really cool way that you can set up a menu type of system to run multiple different code files on your CircuitPython board. And that is how you can use supervisor set next file inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.